All right, so today I'm going to do a short video on right-click menus, which is, in JavaScript terms, the context menu event. When I have a web page, if I click on it, this is the click event. That's with my left mouse. If I use the right mouse, or on my trackpad, it's a click with two fingers, this menu that comes up by default in all the browsers, this is the context menu event that's happening here. So I've built a simple little page, a couple of headings. I have a div here with a bunch of text inside of it. What I want to do is if I right click here, I don't want to see this menu. I don't want to get the default one. I want to get this menu right here. I'm going to make it appear wherever I clicked. And when I mouse off of it, I want the menu to disappear. This one stays up, but just for the sake of argument, I'm going to make mine disappear when I mouse off of it. And then if I click on these, I'm going to do this. I'm going to change the background color to something else. Okay. So in my CSS, I just have this positioned right here. I have a second CSS class called off right here. My UL with the class menu. If I add the class off to it, what it's going to do is it's going to basically just move it off the screen. So it's not seen. I want to do that through script. So inside of my DOM content loaded function, which runs as soon as my page is loaded, all the HTML is read. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add the class off to this UL. When I do that, when I refresh the page, there we go. That menu is really just moved up and off the page. So you don't see it. It's still around. You just don't see it. Now, if I was to click, I could come in here and say, okay, uh, box, that's my element with the ID box, which is my div right here. I could add a click listener, but I'm going to add the context menu listener. That's this next line of code that I've got here. So the context menu, if I right click, I'm going to call the function show menu, which down here I have already written. I'm going to simply move that little menu that I built from the top down to where I've clicked, shift it over by 20 pixels. So if I save and I refresh this, when I right click, there we go. This menu now appears where I clicked. If I mouse off, I don't have the event for that yet. That's my mouse leave event. So when I leave this area, I'm going to call the function hide menu. That's my next step. So context menu makes this thing appear. Mouse leave is going to make it disappear right here. So I add the CSS class off and just to be safe, I'm going to put the top and left back to the negative 200% that I was using previously, just to make sure that they're off the top. So I right click, there it is. I mouse off and it's gone. And you'll also notice that I'm not getting that built in menu. So if I right click down here, this list right here, this is not showing up when I click here, I'm getting my menu. And the reason I get my menu is inside of my function right here, my context menu calling show menu inside of show menu. The very first thing I'm doing EV prevent default EV is the right click event. When the right click event happens, this function is called. And the very first thing I'm doing is I'm saying prevent default, whatever you would normally do in the browser. When somebody right clicks, don't do it. Well, in a browser, normally when somebody right clicks, you show the browser menu. So I'm saying, don't do that up here. I don't do it. I show my menu instead. So really the only thing that's left now is to add the click listeners onto those three menu items. We come over, we click on our menu, and when the user selects one of these and clicks on one of these, we want to have an action take place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target them based on their ID, and then I'm going to use these IDs as the background color that I'm setting. So for example, I come over here, if I right click and I click on gold, I set the background to gold. If I right click on this and I go to green or I go to red, that's what we want to do. Now, the way this works is simply inside my DOM content loaded function. I'm going to call the function add menu listeners. And that function is right here. 
I'm adding just a simple click listener, so a regular left click, targeting them by their IDs, and for all three of them, I'm calling the same function, set color. Using code again should always be a best practice. This function, the set color function, is going to hide the menu. So I'm going to call this function right here to move it off the screen by adding the class. And also I'm just being careful here just in case there's other styles or something else that's going to override it. I want to make sure that I'm specifying the negative 200% off the top and off to the left. Now I'm, after having hidden the menu, I'm going to target the event. So which one of these three was clicked? That's the target property. I'm going to get its ID, so red, gold, or green. And then I'm going to say find the box. That's the div. Set its style property, its background property within the style property to whatever that color is. So the red, the gold, the green, that is going to be the color set in the background. And that's the whole thing. So if you want the code, it's going to be a, a Git, GitHub gist. The link will be down in the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.